All right, YouTubers, here comes a video. The evolution of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna do a series. This is natural, smart, balanced, chunky peanut butter. Funny story, when I was a kid, the first time I had real peanut butter and jelly ended in me getting an ass whooping because I didn't know what this was so I poured it out. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong. I didn't know that natural peanut butter and jelly, you have to stir it up. So, nobody really cares about that, but it's funny to me. So, excuse me while I stir this up. This is really chunky. Strawberry preserves. There you go. Standard peanut butter and jelly. Everybody likes peanut butter and jelly, right? So there you go. Next step, a toaster. And did I bring a toaster? Yes, I did. Woo, there you go. Boom. My opinion, that's a step up. Peanut butter. Okay. That's pretty good, but we're going to make this even better. If you haven't had this trust, you're just going to have to trust me on it. It makes it special. I did too much. Too much. Alrighty. Here we go. Yes. A grilled peanut butter and jelly. Okay, that's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna put it on a plate. The sad part is, I gotta let it cool. You will burn yourself. Let it cool just a little bit to eating temperature. You wouldn't just bite a grilled cheese sandwich three seconds out of there, would you? No, I don't think you would. Okay, still kind of hot. I'm gonna eat it. Oh man, it changes it. Spectacular. Enjoy something like this, YouTubers. We'll see what comes up next. Okay, YouTubers, we're gonna make the next devolution. Evolution? Evolution. Whichever you prefer. Peanut butter. Am I five? Maybe. Maybe I is. Is it time for me to admit something? I don't know if this is good. I've never I've never done this. I'm going pretty heavy with bananas though. I'm a banana fan. They're good for you. Strawberries and bananas, right? I like both those things. Let's do some butter on it. Let's grill it. I do feel like a little kid. <laughs> He's making cooking videos of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Really? How many of you want to try it? You know you want to. Be real. You want to try it. Alright, we're going to let the pan get hot. I didn't have the pan as hot as I wanted. I tried to let it heat up, but I got impatient. Let's flip it. Oh, looky there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. come on now. That's got to make you happy. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. I'll move this. Oh, it's a hot plate. That's why they call it a hot plate. Get that out of there. Let it cool. Don't burn yourself. Let it cool. I know you want to eat it. <laughs> I'm a doofus. All right, let's see. Again, I've never had this. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh. oh, oh my, that's pretty freaking good. Mm. See how the banana got all gooey and soft? Oh, highly recommend, highly, highly recommend. All right, YouTubers, I'm going to make a couple more of these. Have a great and wonderful day. I swear I'll move on to the next progression, but I gotta keep eating these. Awesome. Okay, and next, defrosted flakes. This is like an off-brand, fake, fake flakes. The Aldi brand, which is a heck of a lot cheaper. I'm gonna crush it up with the sriracha mug. Okay, so I ground it down to about that consistency. 
relatively small. We're gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> okay, there's that. And it's tough to do this when you're trying to make videos of it. So now we'll take the frosted flakes. Okay, now it goes in. It's a tiny bit easier to do it this way. And I try to do it carefully. And I do it the next way because there is there are more ways coming. Flip it. Alright. Woo! Okay. Should be about done. So we're gonna take this out and then we're gonna eat it. There we go, I'll eat the first one out of the second one's cooking. Mm. That's really good. You'll like that. Again, I stole this off of some TV show, some food show. There's more to do, but this is good. Okay, YouTubers, here's the next iteration of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Two more eggs. Alright, the pan's getting hot, but I don't have a lot of patience. Peanut butter and jelly. Egg wash. Next, into the graham crackers. Try to get some of the excess off. Not make too much of a mess. And in it goes to the pan. And now I have to wash my hands. I didn't think this through. <laughs> Alright, note to self. It's easier to do this outside when you have an RV this small. Because I can't get to the sink, you know, to wash my hands. So I'm going to try to flip it. I'll squirt a little butter in there to help it a little bit. Smells good. All right, I'm gonna flip it again. Oh, look at that crisping up, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take that off. I'm trying to make another one real quick. I'll put it on the plate with the second one. Nice. Look at there. We're going to try it now. Graham cracker crusted, egg washed, peanut butter jelly, and bananas. Yeah. Uh-huh. I like that as well. I think maybe the frosted flakes a little bit more, but... Man, this is good too. Okay, YouTubers. Enjoy. There's going to be more. Have a great and wonderful day. Until the next version. Ah, Oreo. America's favorite cookie. Also mine. Um, now I'm just getting silly probably, but I want to give it a try. Take three cookies. And you, you either got to have somebody who doesn't care or make it for yourself. Because the only right way to get the icing off is to use your teeth. I guess if you're making them for other people, you'd be nice and use a knife. Breaking them down a little bit first. I do love me some Oreos. They're not great for you. I try to limit myself to three a day, but I will also admit I pretty much eat at least three Oreos a day. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna crush them down. You don't need to see all this. I'll show you when it's. All right. We did uh, peanut butter, jelly, and bananas again. I'm gonna do butter. Butter, butter. All right. We got that side in there. Move it around. The only, the set, the tough part about this is it, it does get messy. I don't always use a lot of squeeze butter, but when you're RVing, it's just a little bit easier. Flip that over. Grind that side in a little bit. Could be terrible. Does it look like it, be, it could be terrible? Pause to let you think. No, I don't think so either. Alright, in we go. Mmm, you can smell cooking. I've never smelled uh, Oreos cooking before. It's kind of nice. Oh, cookity cook cook. Oh, <laughs> I've had deep fried Oreos before. But it was funny, I was telling friends about making a. Uh, grilled peanut butter and jelly and uh, 
longtime family friend from when we were kids it was like, oh, I remember the first time you guys had that. It was awesome. It's really better than you think. All right, YouTubers, there we go. Looky there. Woohoo! <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> I really like that. Some of my favorite things. That works. That really works. Okay, YouTubers, gonna make another one. This one, I'm gonna do a little bit different. I got some leftover Oreos, and I'm gonna put it inside. Just to see. Cut up the banana. Alright, there's the bananas on it. And now, we'll put a little bit more crushed Oreo. Oh, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't want this. I used up all my strawberry preserves, and this is what was available at the store. So I have Smucker Squeezable Strawberry Blend, and hopefully it's not terribly overly processed, but you make do with what you gotta make do with. I had grape jelly, but bananas and strawberry just works. The last little bit of Oreos. <laughs> I don't know about you YouTubers, but I think this looks like a lot of fun. Food's supposed to be fun. I'm impatient again. Oh. 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 Isn't that pretty? There's the next one. Next peanut butter and jelly. The stuffed with Oreos. Mmm. <laughs> I'm telling you. Peanut butter and jelly. Grill it up. Fill it with whatever the heck you want to put in there, and it's friggin' awesome. That's a good way to do it, too. Have a great and wonderful day. All right, next version. There's another peanut butter and jelly sandwich on white bread. All right, we got the pan heating up. I got a bag of coconut, and I buttered this side of the bread. I think it's turned into whatever the hell can I put on this next. I am a coconut nut. And then... <laughs> you can stop laughing. There's going to be one of you out there that go, oh, I'm gonna try that. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, we're under it. We're going to flip it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Alright. The coconut might not be the greatest idea. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, let's take this off. Maybe. This is uh, peanut butter jelly, banana, and coconut. I like the taste of it. Not sure how well it came out, but that's not too bad. All right. I got more ideas. Have a great and wonderful day. Okay, YouTubers. I'm going to make another one. Wasn't really happy with how that came out, so we're going to try a little different. Got caramel sauce. Yeah, yeah. Going to go overboard. That's peanut butter on there. Lay some caramel sauce on it. Let's go nuts, huh? Coconut. Okay, banana. Cup. Look at there. All right. Let's sprinkle a little bit more caramel sauce on it. Yeah. A little bit more coconut. <laughs> I'll try to be honest. I'm gonna do the jelly, strawberry jelly. You know, I always try to be honest with you. Cause that whole being honest thing, I didn't like. I didn't like how it turned out with the uh, with it on the outside. Ooh, that one looks good. The last one, I will admit, didn't look very good, and it was a little messy. And the taste profile was okay, but it needed some help. On back to watch some guy eat a sandwich. <laughs> All right, YouTubers, let's give this one a go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like that. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay, YouTubers. This is going to be the last of the peanut butter and jelly experiments. Again, when I was a kid, we had grilled peanut butter and jelly, and it really is so much better 
than just regular peanut butter and jelly. Then I saw on a show, I think it was Diners, Drivers, and Dives, that uh, the one with Frosted Flakes where the guy coated it. So I was like, oh, I'll try that. So, ooh, that's good. And then on this trip, I just felt like playing a little bit. Put some banana on it. And did I mention, hopefully I mentioned, this is that banana bread I made in the uh, New Wave ovens, since I now have two. <laughs> have some caramel sauce so I'm gonna like what the hell put some caramel sauce on it since I'm not gonna keep playing coconut on it some crushed coconut now we'll put the jelly on it it's probably gonna make one hell of a mess I'm gonna put the other top of the banana bread on it that is looking like that bread's gonna break you can smell it, it smells good don't go early. I get impatient. I get very impatient. So, what are all these saying? Okay, again, honestly, swear, swear, swear. Grilled peanut butter and jelly is so much better than a regular peanut butter and jelly. And then, food's meant to be fun. So, if you get weird ideas, try something silly. The worst thing that can happen is you made a bad sandwich that you throw away. But food's fun. Oh, this sandwich is going to break. Maybe not. You can feel it didn't change color, but you can feel it's a little crisped. If you make a bigger loaf, like a nine, you know, a bigger loaf, it could probably work. Probably need to make it a little bit harder. Because this, this bread is, this banana bread is nice and soft. <laughs> this sandwich it's a fork sandwich, because when it came off of there, it really, uh, really kind of made a mess. Mm. Still hot, but that works. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the progressions. Oh, coconut, nice. Of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And being able to take it places. You can, anything you can think of, you can probably make it. A great wonderful day.